Hello guys, my name is Michael and today it's time to move on with our uh, GTK uh, spin button widget and today we are going to learn new things uh, which are properties so let's see today we are going to learn how to set some properties for example adjustment, clean bright digits and so on let's take a look at the uh, documentation of the GTK spin button as you already know here we have all these things which you c we can choose this is a like a fast faster menu if I can call it like that so basically here are those signals we are going to talk about these signals later in another video uh, styles and properties and also properties okay so let's see what's the story with these properties let us uh, create a spin button gtk widget spin button now we are going to create our spin button by calling uh, gtk spin button new uh, the first parameter of the function is adjustment as you know and then the clean right and the g digits this time I'm going to pass null I'm and uh, also 0 and 0 so basically this is uh, somehow like a dead spin button gtk container add so gtk container I'm going to add this um, spin button to our window and now I can compile the program and run it so as you can see here is our spin button we cannot make changes here of course we cannot because uh, we didn't set uh, we set no values so this means uh, nothing's changed here no matter what I'm trying or what we are trying to do okay so that being said uh, those properties are the first one it is a GTK adjustment so it says um, the adjustment that holds the value of the spin button so basically we are going to create an adjustment okay so um, let me copy this part here it's much faster and also the adjustment name I'm going to use it as adjustment this time like we are already used now I'm going to say create now because I want to create oh no no it's okay create an adjustment and we are going to say adjustment <coughs> and we are going to point it to GTK adjustment add add just man new and we are going to say that the value it will be 20 the lower will be 0 the upper will be 100 so the step increment it will be 1 the page increment it will be 10 and the last one the base size we are going to set it to null okay now we are creating the adjustment because we have it we can move to our properties so the first property it is the adjustment so let us create it setting set Let's call it like that. 
and as you already know we are going to use G object set to set our properties the first one is our object which is our spin button the second one it will be our adjustment and of course it will be the adjustment itself so and then of course we inform the g object set function that we are done by passing null null as its last parameter so what did we made here just to be clear we were creating an adjustment and then uh, with these values which are 24 value actual value 0 for lower 100 for upper we are going to increment it by one with the step increment and with the page increment we are going to increment it increment it by 10 and also we are setting the page size to zero <coughs> after we create this adjustment we are setting first property to our spin button i'm calling g object set and and we are doing this by applying the adjustment property to the speed man button with the adjustment which we are above created that being said let us run the program now and as you can see we have now a spin button working widget this means we have a value of 20 the, the way we set it we can increment it, we can recommend it, and of course, if uh, you press uh, mouse 2 or the middle model, the, the scroll mouse, it updates to 10. <coughs> Sorry, the same thing happens if you, you, uh, you hit the page up and page down. Okay, so basically, our button works fine, our spin button. Now, let's move on to next um, properties which is the clean rate uh, before we do that let's set some margins here so margin margin left let's say 100 and uh, not not left let let's let's use the top one okay and margin button bottom let's set it also to let's say um, also 100 okay let me now clear a little bit the code here it looks better let me run the program now and see if it works yes it looks fine so basically we put here margin up and down here so that we have a, a very clear and nicer uh, spin button okay that being said let's move on uh, the second one is the clean rate you already know what clean rate is that's the acceleration rate when you hold down a button key or button or a key so this being said we are going to set this time the clean rate if we set it to one i will run the program now I will compile it and run it. I will hit the plus button and as you can see it is only the uh, it updates only to one but if I put now two here you already know okay wait I hit the wrong button compile it at first and then run it. Now when I uh, press the increment button you will see that the numbers are changing at the beginning at one and then they grow up watch faster and you're done with the uh, increase of your um, spin button faster you see it's much faster okay so that being said this is the story with clean rate you already know it was just an explanation the next one is our digits uh, you already know this means when you run the program uh, then you can set how many digits you can have here so this is what the digits does so we are going to set to say um, we need two digits only or let, let us three let us have three digits so that will be nicer and as you can see this time is not just 20 anymore this time is 20 
and followed by those three digits numeric you already know this property what does uh, it is the property which uh, controls if you can type only numbers true and then comma net not uh, semicolon so this means uh, when you set it you cannot type anything you see true so I cannot do nothing I need to set it to false if I do need to type something in the entry uh, GTK button uh, spin button so here break basically see if I want to type something then I can let it it's defaults to false or you can set it to true okay that being said next it is uh, we saw this now next is the snap to ticks uh, you know that story with snap to ticks isn't it yes you know I will go into talk a little bit about that again as you can see here when you are typing something like for example um, uh, 12 point 289 you see the number stays there if we hit enter and if I hit now plus you see updates the first one and leave the sec the, the decimal points uh, in place so this means they will never change but if you want to do some changes like we already learned about snap tick ticket uh, tick sorry I will set it to true so basically now when you type something like a number 12 1 2 3 you see it is uh, the number is rounded to 12 so this means basically i can now type a number between uh, between 12.01 and 12.49 so everything i pass or i type between these numbers or equal to these numbers it ends with 12 12 48 you see and if you type everything starting with 12 50 and 12 99 it will be rounded to 30 so 12.51 it will be 30 as you can see of course the same thing happens if, if you if you type something like 12 88 it will be 30 Okay, that being said, you know what this uh, thing does. I will set it to false. Okay, the next one, the update policy. We learn about it. We know which kind of policy uh, is. Ah, okay, here it is. Uh, remember, I, I will told you. I was told you that when you set the update policy in the last tutorial, where it, where it is here, I said that uh, I think that defaults the update policy defaults to to uh, update always I wasn't sure about the way how the program behaves if you don't set it or if you set this one it is uh, similar or the same so uh, here they didn't uh, specially uh, uh, explain it or say it but now when you go here you see it defaults to GTK update always just remember okay so basically because defaults to this um, always I will set this timer uh, to not to always but to if value is uh, valid so that being said I'll copy this here I will throw it here and now we have it okay this is basically the update policy the thing which we already know uh, it, when a version your GTK button the value is only displayed if it is valid within the bounds of the spin button adjustment we already talk about it so you should know already what does and of course we have another two things like the value which I already told you be careful when you set the value because if you set the value before you set the the other properties then you have a problem so let's see uh, let's set to 10 this time because we are saying 20 when we were setting the adjustment now we decide to change it to 10 so basically now we have a segmentation for us of course we have because it's a G double just remember you need to <laughs> funny is that uh, 
Okay, nah, it's okay because it's simply implicit co conversion. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. So uh, now I set it to 10.0, which is the right way. As, as you can see now, we have the value of 10. Okay, that being said, this is uh, the way how you set um, these properties. We have the last one, the wrap. The wrap thing, you remember, was that uh, option which you get it if you want to not end with 100 maybe you want to change the value after you let go to 100 now we are at 100 so basically if you set it to false then you cannot press the plus button anymore but because we said uh, that we let the rep to be true we said basically just after you reach 100 if you hit the plus button again or the increment button again just jump from 100 back to zero and start again you see so basically this is what happens if i go to minus goes back so it will never um uh, reach its uh, end because it is uh, jumping all the time from the lower to upper or from upper to lower based on which uh button you are pressing of course we have the style properties which we are not going to talk about it why because it has been deprecated science version 3.20 uh, so this means we are not going to talk about it we know now how to set properties things which we can set them with um, their setter functions also one thing which you should know and you should remember i will always mention it it is that if a widget delivers for another widget this means inner hits its functions and signals and so on so that being said if we move now to gtk entry and watch its properties which are a lot of them as you already noticed that means if we take uh, for example yes uh, edit table we can use it of course we can and then we'll say uh, files now when i compile and run the program remember edit table property it doesn't belong to spin button it belongs to entry but entry it is the uh, let's say the parent and the spin button is the child so inner hits its function so you see we cannot use it edit table uh, it doesn't apply to entry like maybe you talk no it, uh, it is applied to to um, spin button um, buttons decrement and increment you cannot disassemble uh, the entry with edit table even if you maybe you tell them when you when you are going to work no you're, you're disassembling basically uh, everything I mean not just here you, you, you disassemble everything so okay next thing uh, I know there are so many things like uh, let's say max length uh, these things which are, we are already using so max length let, let me set it to 5 let me put back the edit table to true because if not we cannot type something and now the you see more than 5 letters or numbers I cannot type so this means it is restricted to 5 I'll put it to 10. Now the next thing which we can do, we can set, for example, let's, uh, oh yeah, let primary icon name. We can we can use this one. Let's put an in icon. Why not? Who said we cannot? So uh, which icon? Let's see. You remember icon names? just type it here and then you have naming specification and then uh, I know choose something you like here let's take this one because we already talked about it okay so one now I compile it and run it and of course we have a problem because it should be a string which is very important to be it is a string it's not so basically watch BAM now we have an icon here same things happen see for example you need uh, the secondary icon name secondary icon name 
remember we have a secondary also this means now when we are going to let's take the stop now let's take something else mm, skip forward no 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 let's insert ring insert image insert image let's let's call this one okay we have the same problem again because it needs to be a string let me run the compile and run the program now and as you can see now the second icon we have it here which means our program works fine of course there are the emojis you remember emojis where are those uh -huh, there we can use them too okay so I'm going to set it this time to true because we, we are going to use them as you can see uh, just remember <coughs> when you set an emoji see it just killed your other uh, icon so this means your icon is somewhere under this icon just remember that okay the emoji will be always on the right side it defaults to the right side so basically uh, just um, uh, overwrite it uh, overwrites your your secondary icon now when you press here uh, when, when you click on your icon it's coming all these beautiful emojis and then you have them okay that being said this is about uh, them of course we can set visibility and where it is, where it is, there are so many, let me go up visibility is right here if we can set the visibility property also to true okay I will compile the program and run it and the text works fine let me put it to false of course I need to use false not true and now as you can see we have these dots so we don't know what the user types here and of course we can set the uh, uh, invisible char I think was isn't it invisible char yes and then we can oh no we need a char this time so we, let's change it to well, I don't know at I will compile it and run it and as you can see now here are our settings or our properties which we are creating or setting through uh, properties so through this function by calling g object set you see how many um, how many properties you can set well that happens because uh, like like I said this is um, very important for you to remember that the function um, widget which derives from another widget inherits also its uh, properties and signals so basically you can use its signal we are going to work with signals and you will see that uh, what's the story with them and so on uh, we are going to talk about CSS also and after that we are done finally we are done with the uh, um, GTK spin button which um, you already saw how um, how complicated uh, looks like if you don't understand it or it can be also easier if you understand it so basically it had some functions we talk about most of them there are some functions which we didn't talk because I don't see a reason why should we talk about these functions because everything what's here says its name let's take the update policy for example and let's say let's call this function just an example and say if okay and then here we are passing our GTK spin button GTK spin button
And now we are going to say if GTK spin button get up the policy. It's not equal to GTK update always, which is not. Then we are going to set this property G object set spin button. Um, let me copy this part here. So to have it faster and then we are going to set g print the update poly c was set to So basically we are going to make a test and we are going to say <coughs> if GTK spin button get update policy uh, so the update policy which is set here is not equal to update always which is not because you said it is uh, if valid then we are going to set this property to update always and then we are printing that the update policy was set to the update always okay first time we have a problem Passing argument one, which gives me uh, makes money with this uh, spin button. Why? Because GTK spin button I still not understand where the problem is because we are casting in to the right one. Let's go back to this uh, Yes, takes our button GTK spin button so what's where the problem? GTK spin button. Spin button is not equal to and says passing on which gives one makes point not a cut. Expecting GTK is not a uh, but argument is a type of int. Okay. Let me save it a little bit in a new see something let me see something call it policy now we have it now we are going to make this come we are going to compare these two things here just to be more clear and then sets expected and now ah, okay I know where the problem was sorry guys I forgot uh, I forgot the uh, Parties here, so basically this was the reason why why I wasn't sure why it says that I'm comparing an integer against anyway whatever. So basically, says the update policy was set to GTK update always. So this was the reason why it wasn't working because uh, I forgot uh, to put a parenthesis this one here. So basically, it didn't know what's the story here with one uh, parenthesis which took another. way okay so that being said um, I think we covered everything uh, which we need to know about properties and its functions and I think we covered everything uh, which is important for us to know so the last functions here I won't going to talk about anymore because you already uh, notice what this function does uh, uh, we are talking about the properties we know how to set them we know now that uh, everything which uh, uh, there is from we can um, use its f uh, let's say functions or properties and so on we did from GTK entry the setting was happens with uh, um, GTK widget because it is uh, derived from GTK widget so this means its properties uh, they are also useful and you can um, uh, use them if you need to for example we are using now the margin left right no, no top and uh, button but you can set a lot of other things let's see what's the story with opacity let's use something like 
20 and now I'm going to compile and run the program okay uh, that is valid or out of range for wrapped evasive for type G double okay very funny value 20 of type G double is invalid or out of the range why it's invalid let's go back and says the requested opacity of the widget CGTK set option for more details about window opacity before trade this was only available in GK window uh, default value is 1 ah I see now sorry guys it is it has to be between 0 and 1 and uh, I, I understood wrong so this means we are going to use 0 0.2 this time which means uh, it has as you can see the part is there you don't see too much here because we set it to 20 if you set it to 1 it will be like it defaults uh, without calling this opacity so basically this is okay yes of course we get because we need a double just remember that anyway you will see when you change but don't make too much any changes to your program and then compile it and later try to understand where the segmentation fault calls comes and wh why should I do now where should I start to debug my program and so on no w once that you set something to your program just compile it and see what happens if you get the segmentation fault then you know the last change you made was here okay this is a good way to start when you are debugging your program before you need to debug it debug it just remember uh, don't write uh, like thousand lines and after you type those thousand lines and uh, you sh you are sure that you did everything okay compile it and run it and get a segmentation fault and say well what's happened now why, why did I got that now what do I do now where should I start now no uh, we are not doing something like this when we are programming uh, in uh, C or maybe in other languages no we are uh, creating our programs step by step and once that we created this program once that we have them uh, we can basically say that they are fine but w during the creating of the uh, application of the program or, or, f or your applications just remember type compile run it type compile run it type compile run it uh, again and again and again and after you see that everything is fine move on to the next section of your program don't create like thousand uh, sections and then compile and run and get a segmentation of files because you will have a lot of work and you will have a lot to the book to the book to, to see where the problem is where the mistakes comes because you trust me you will have a hard job there anyway that being said this is everything uh, about um, properties we cannot talk more because I think we understand now what properties are we understand now where and when do we need them we understand now how to apply them and we understand now how we can change these properties as well okay that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys